So this is Chase's saliva. What enzymes are in here again? Amylase, Amylase and lipase. lipase. Very good. We have five milliliters of that. We're measuring the meniscus. Now I'm going to put how much water in this one? Five. Five, because it has to be a control variable. And that's way too much. Okay, so five milliliters, we want to make sure it's the same. Okay. Now, I'm going to put down some crushed cracker. Two scoops in each one. So if I put one scoop, two scoops. If I put two scoops in the saliva, how much should I put in the water? Two. Two scoops. Because what variable is that? Control. Control variable. Very good. Two scoops. But because the uh, cracker is all on top, I need to mix it. I'm going to take a pipette. I'm going to froth it up. Oh. I'm going to mix it in so that the amylase and the lipase have a chance to do their job. Okay? And I don't want to contaminate it, so I'm going to get another one to use for the water. I'm just mixing it up so that the cracker is dispersed throughout the whole liquid. Now I'm going to wait a few minutes to see what happens. Okay? After a few minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this. What was this again? Iodine. Iodine. Okay? And iodine is going to react. Iodine by itself looks like this. What color is it? Oh. Brownish, okay? Iodine looks like this. It's what you use when you have a cut. It disinfects you. It kills your, uh, the bacteria and all that stuff if you get a cut. Okay? Now, when iodine touches starch, starch is a type of sugar. It's a type of carbohydrate. When iodine touches starch, it's going to change another color. And it's very obvious what color it's going to turn. Okay, it's very obvious what color it's going to turn. So, we're going to wait five minutes and we're going to see what happens. Turn that off. Okay. And I'm going to do one drop into the one that hasn't been digested. But because it's all still kind of mixed up, I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of... Okay, what color did it change? A little bit brownish, right? Okay, look at the one that has not been digested. The one that still has the starches intact. What color did it change? Bluish purple. When iodine touches starch, it turns purple. That is a chemical reaction. But because Chase's saliva with its lipase and amylase broke down the starches, was there any starch? Okay, this is what iodine looks like. Okay? <laughs> but when you add it to starch, it's going to turn a color that is very obvious. Picture or you video? video. You video? Okay. Okay. So the first one, I'm going to add it to Hanalei, just one drop. And how much should I drop onto the water? One. One drop. Okay? So the spit, I'm going to mix it up. Is the iodine in a mouth? The iodine... No, no, it isn't. Okay? And overall, it didn't really change color. It got, kind of touched a little bit of the cracker, but it stayed clear. Look what happens to the test tube that had the starch that was not broken down by the enzymes. Oh look, it changed black. What color did it turn? Black. Bluish black. When iodine touches starch, it changes color to blue. So this means that the iodine, the starch was still there, this means that it didn't. Give Hanalei a nice round of applause. This saliva works very well. And you guys can go, but I'm going to also do Perry's uh,